Hi, welcome back. We had two relations, two equations. The last lecture, in the last class, we numbered that equations as five and six. This is equation five. This is for p by k t equal to minus two by by h cube h h cube two m to the power three by two. This integral zero to infinity epsilon to the power half log one minus d to the power minus beta epsilon d epsilon minus log one minus d v. And we know what is this log one minus d. This is actually the p by k t for uh, epsilon equal to zero state. So we are writing the state epsilon equal to zero separately. So uh, log one minus it is the term corresponding to uh, the epsilon equal to uh, zero, the single particle state epsilon equal to zero, and here we know this z by one minus z. That is the z by one minus z in n by v. This is the term corresponding to. The single particle state epsilon equal to zero that is separately written. So in these two equations, we have separately written the term corresponding to epsilon equal to zero separately, and uh, the reason for that was uh, explained in the last class. So uh, this n zero, this capital n zero. The, that that is the number of particles in the single particle state of epsilon equal to zero, or the mean value of small n zero that is set by one minus set. Okay, so uh, this value, since uh, we are considering a Bose gas, any single particle state can be occupied by any number of particles. There can be no particle. There can be one particle, two particle, or there can be infinite number of particles. There is no restriction on the number of particles. That is why we we write n zero can take value zero, one, two, up to infinity. Now suppose n zero, the mean value of the occupation number for epsilon equal to zero is zero. Then if n zero is zero. Z has to be zero. So Z is equal to zero. And when n zero is infinite, infinity. Suppose that n zero is infinity. Then Z is equal to one. So we get an important uh, relation. The Z, the fugacity for an ideal Bose gas, varies in between zero and one. The minimum value it can take is zero. The maximum value it can take is one. This we will be applying later on. So this is the number of particles in the state of single particle st uh, energy epsilon equal to zero. And as we saw here, as we saw here, as Z assumes values close to unity. Okay, when Z becomes one, uh, the term Z by one minus Z by V, this term in the n by V, uh, one by V Z by one minus Z, as Z tends to one, this tends to infinity. So what that means is the number of particles. In the uh, ground state, epsilon equal to zero state, that is the ground state, can well become a significant fraction of n by v, because this is going to this term is going to infinity, so a large fraction, a significant fraction of n by v, will be this term. That means uh, there is an accumulation or crowding. Of particles in a single particle state of energy epsilon equal to zero. So there is a crowding or accumulation of macroscopic fraction of particles 
into a single state epsilon equal to zero. So this leads to the phenomenon of Bose-Einstein condensation. So one can uh, explain Bose-Einstein condensation from this relation. This is an equation for the total number of particles in the system. Here as z tends to 1, this term will become infinite. So a large number of particles, a large fraction of particles will be crowding, accumulating in the ground state, the single particle state of energy epsilon equal to 0. This accumulation, this crowding, this is called Bose-Einstein condensation and we will be learning more about Bose-Einstein condensation later on. Now uh, we know z by 1 minus z is equal to n0, the number of particles in the ground state. So by rearranging, rewriting uh, this in this fashion, we can write z equal to n0 by n0 plus 1. Okay, we can get this relation. Now let's uh, substitute this in equation 5. What is equation 5? This is equation 5. Okay, this is equation 5. So here for z, now I am substituting what? n0 over n0 plus 1. So minus log 1 minus z by v, I am substituting n0 over n0 plus 1 for z and uh, this will be this and by taking this negative sign I can write log n0 plus 1 by v. Now the volume that is actually proportional to the number of particles. Okay, Volume of a system of ideal gas that is actually proportional to the number of particles. So this volume, this volume here in the denominator is proportional to n and the numerator, you know, n0 can be a maximum of n. Okay, n0 is number of particles in the ground state. n0 can be n, capital N, the total number of particles in the system. So uh, this, this, is, this is proportional to log n, this is proportional to n. So we, ha we have a term which is of the order of n inverse log n, n inverse log n. And so this will be very negligible for all values of set because n is very large. So log n by n is a very small quantity, negligible quantity. So for all values of set, the, the, this term, which term? The minus uh, log 1 minus z by v, this term is very very negligible. So what we are going to do is we neglect, since this is very very negligible, we neglect this term, we are not taking this term. Okay. So uh, our equation now becomes p by kt equal to this. We have dropped, we are, we are not taking that term corresponding to uh, epsilon equal to 0. But we cannot do the same in the sixth equation here. Here that, that thing cannot be done. So uh, what we do is we take this term, this term, the last term, this is taken to this left hand side, to the left hand side, it is taken. This is uh, n0, z by 1 minus z is n0, the number of particles in the ground state. So our equation now is turning into n minus n0 by v, that is equal to this integral. So we have two equations. Now what we do is we are going to integrate these equations. So how do we do that? We substitute this beta epsilon, we see beta epsilon here, beta epsilon here, we take beta epsilon as equal to x. Okay, so beta d epsilon will be x dx or d epsilon will be dx by beta. 
so you make a substitution and it changes epsilon epsilon is equal to x by beta to the power half okay so it becomes minus p by kt equal to minus 2 pi by h cube 2m by beta to the power 3 by 2 integral 0 to infinity x to the power half log 1 minus z e to the power minus x dx so from epsilon we have now transformed the equation into an integration with respect to x so now we are integrating with respect to x okay now suppose uh, uh, i want to integrate this the integration is not that easy we take it separately so 0 to infinity log 1 minus e to the power minus x this x to the power half is written in this form differential of x to the power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 okay and we are integrating by parts we are integrating this equation by parts so the first term will be log 1 minus it e to the power minus x x to the power 3 by 2 the limits of the integration 0 to infinity and then minus 0 to infinity x to the power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 then we have to differentiate this that that differential is written here 1 by 1 minus z e to the power minus x minus z e to the power x minus 1 okay so when you apply the limits here when you put x equal to infinity if you put x equal to infinity here this e to the power minus x will become 0 so you will get log 1 here log 1 is 0 so this will be 0 and when you put x equal to 0 because of x to the power 3 by 2 this will become 0 so this term will not be there in the final result this is 0 when you apply the limits so you get this only this one that is minus 2 by 3 and when you rearrange you will get this x to the power 3 by 2 set uh, inverse e to the power x minus 1 and I am writing this as x to the power 3 by 2 is written as x, x to the power 5 by 2 minus 1 set inverse e to the power x minus 1 okay why I am writing like that because I am now going to define a function called Bose Einstein function that is gn offset gn offset that is 1 by gamma n the gamma function we have studied already integral 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 power z to the power n minus 1 e to the power x minus 1 dx so this is the Bose Einstein function its value it can be also written as a series form z plus z square by 2 to the power n z cube uh, uh, upon 3 to the power n plus like that this is an infinite series like this so this is the Bose Einstein function so we are going to write our integral in the form of Bose Einstein function so if we use uh, this okay this one is the general relation and compare this these two thing we, we have this 5 by 2 here so n this small n is 5 by 2 here so we get this gamma 5 by 2 g 5 by 2 z gamma 5 by 2 is 3 by 2 half root pi anyway we will be getting minus half root pi g 5 by 2 of z so uh, here for this integral now I have got minus half root by g phi by tau z so that I am substituting here I am giving that here so what I will get I will get this and then small rearrangement I will be getting this relation so beta is written as 1 by kt beta is written as 1 by kt and uh, we reduce this uh, D thermal wavelength thermal wavelength is h over root 2 pi m k t to the power uh, 3 uh, I mean h over root 2 pi m k t is the thermal wavelength lambda so in terms of that p by k t is g phi by dou z over lambda q so this is equation 7 same thing is done for the uh, second equation 
for this equation also for this equation also we are writing in terms of Bose Einstein function this I am writing in terms of Bose Einstein function and uh, it becomes this when we substitute this thing the, here we need not integrate it's already in the form of Bose Einstein function so we just uh, write that write it and we can write it in terms of lambda as g3 by 2 z the Bose Einstein function copy uh, of uh, 3 by 2 over lambda cube and we, we get the eighth equation and equation 7 and 8 are our basic results so these are our basic results okay so what is our equation 7 equation 7 is this for p by kt g5 by 2 z over lambda cube and n minus n0 by v g3 by 2 z over lambda cube and these are our basic results so our equations are now very much simplified and uh, finding value set from it you can expand this as a series of set uh, and from that you can get um, uh, value set and that when you substitute in 7 the f this equation you get the equation of state equation of state is p by kt p kt and volume also will come into it okay that would give us the equation of state of the system